there's something to delight everyone in Barcelona. If you're a food lover, then the city has a total of 20 Michelin stars. And if you want culture, you've got an inexhaustible choice of beautiful buildings and events. Add this to clean urban beaches, world-class nightlife, and so much great shopping, you won't know where to begin. Welcome to Things To Do channel. Today, we're going to list 10 things to do in Barcelona. Stroll around Gracia. This area wasn't even part of Barcelona until the 20th century. And thanks to its layout of tapered streets and little squares, it feels like a different place. It's a young, stylish, and cosmopolitan area with students and artists. So there's a multitude of bars, cafes, and independent shops to be found. If you come to Gracia during the Festa Mayor in August, the area is transformed as the residents come together to decorate individual streets in imaginative ways to be the best in the neighborhood. Visit Barcelona City History Museum the History Museum preserves a few Roman sites across the Gothic Quarter, such as the Temple of Augustus and the Funeral Way on Plaza de la Villa de Madrid. But Plaza del Rey is where you can see Barcelona's ancient history in detailed layers. You'll take a lift down to where the remnants of a garum factory, laundries, dyeing soaps, and parts of ancient Barcino's walls are all visible. The site is large, covering 4,000 square meters, which you'll explore via elevated walkways. Shop at La Boqueria. This is an iconic site and educational experience in one. There's been a Boqueria market in Barcelona since medieval times, though this exact spot has only witnessed trade for about 200 years. That elegant and distinctive iron and glass roof you'll see was put up in 1914. Whether you want to do some food shopping or just take in sights and sounds of a bustling urban market, it's a real eye-opener. It is a grid of permanent stalls selling fruits, vegetables, cold meats, cheese, as well as olive products. Pull off with a beer and a tapa at one of the market's bars. Check out the city beaches of Barcelona. Barcelona's beachfront boardwalk stretches for miles. The westernmost beaches like San Sebastián are busier and more touristy, but are backed by Barcelona's tight lattice of trendy shops and bars with terraces and outdoor seating. As you move along the waterfront after the Olympic port, you'll find a bit more room and more Barcelona locals. Finally, just up from Plata de Llevant is the massive and new diagonal marmol, revitalizing a former industrial part of the city. The picturesque Casa Milla. Also known as La Pedrera, as the front of the building looks like a bit like of a face of a quarry. Casa Milia was completed in 1912 and is another emblematic Gaudi building. It's one of several of Catalan modernist works to be UNESCO listed and was fourth and final Gaudi building on Passage de Gracia. Architects will appreciate the contemporary innovations here, including the self-supporting stone facade and underground car park. The coherence between the design of the building and Casa Milia's furnishings is a real joy to see. And it's all from a time when Gaudi was at the top of his game. See Casa Batio. Another of Antony Gaudi's most postcard-friendly creations. This apartment block wasn't created from scratch, but was a remodel undertaken at the turn of the 20th century. You won't need to have visited Barcelona to recognize the building's roof, the tiles of which are the scales of a great dragon. Like all of his work, the inside of the Casa Batio has that sinuous quality, with few straight lines and dazzling attention to detail. Take the mushroom-shaped fireplace on the noble floor, which likely a cozy grotto was designed for couples to warm up in winter. See Las Ramblas. Never mind that a lot of locals shun this sequence of promenades that runs from Plaza de Catalunya down to the Columbus Monument at the waterfront. If you're a tourist, it's one of those things that you have to do. In summer, you'll be under the shade of the tall plane trees and shuffling through the crowds that pass living statues, street performers, bird sellers, and flower stands. Once you get to the water, you can keep going along the boards to visit the Mary Magnum Mall or Barcelona's Aquarium. Watch an opera in Palau de la Musica Catalana. 
This turn-of-the-century concert hall is yet another piece of Barcelona's UNESCO-listed heritage. It was built by Gaudi's contemporary. This was at a time when investment and commissions by wealthy Catalan industrialists we're helping a generation of artists and designers to create a new sense of Catalan identity. The hall is a sublime venue for opera, symphonies, and folk music. So have a look at the schedule when you plan your trip. Fundacio Joan Miro Just like Gaudi, Joan Miro was quintessentially Catalonian artist. And the visit to his museum will give you a more vivid picture of Barcelona's spirit and style. The Fundacio Joan Miro was set up by the artist in the 60s to encourage contemporary art in Barcelona. And Miro worked closely with the architect Joseph Louis Sert on the museum building's design. This means there's a harmony between the venue and the work inside it that you won't find very often. Within, there's a large collection of artists' work including sculptures, drawings, and paintings. There are also temporary exhibitions of 20th and 21st century art, and all sorts of collaborative and educational projects going on. Talk at the Architecture of Sagrada Familia This is where to begin your adventure through Barcelona and the dreamlike works of Antoni Gaudi. This minor basilica is a project of incredible scale and ambition that is still only around three quarters complete, more than 140 years after Gaudi first became involved. When its spires are finished, it will be the tallest church building in the world and hardly resembles any religious structure you'll have seen in your life. The Sagrada Familia combines several architectural styles including Catalan Modernism, Art Nouveau, and Spanish Late Gothic. But Gaudi's masterpiece defies these kinds of definitions when you look up open-mouthed at the ceiling of the nave. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this about your favorite cities around the world. Let us know in the comments which of the places from our list today you would like to visit the most.